Wow, welcome back everyone to some more Danganronpa. We finally had the reveal of the mastermind and it was Junko, of all people, and I just love it. I just love her. Uh, I may have a new favorite character. Sorry, Kyoko. Um, I just, wow, I'm still kind of blown away. I, I've not played this in like two days. I just had to process it a little bit and it's, it's just the reveal and the, the subtle hints that we had, fantastic. I was really worried that this would be like an anticlimax in some way, in some way. Not at all. Not at all. It's brilliant. I can't wait to see now if we can actually get to the bottom of why this has all happened, what the mystery is, and uh, more Junko. I can't wait. Let's go. All right, then let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us? I also look, I can't wait to see if she's got any more personalities because holy crud is it entertaining. When the group pictures were taken and those interviews, it must mean. Also, this music is just. The soundtrack is. I, I love this game. I love this game. I got it! It must have something to do with our entrance exams. Don't hmm. care! At least give us a hint. Your brains are like sponges, all drippy and leaky. I already gave you a hint before. <laughs> I love that she's putting on a Monokuma voice. It's brilliant. All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Do you recall? Huh. Recall something about memory? Um... All memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Thinking back to what Monokuma told us, the memories that were stolen from us and what they must be related to. Uh, the founding of Hope's Peak Academy? It's not the class, it's not the class trials. It's, it's not, that's the one I'm thinking? Or the, oh, or the motives. No, let's go for the founding of Hope's Peak. I genuinely don't know, guys. No, that's wrong. Um, <laughs> what the hell? Who gives a crap about something that had happened a billion years ago? I can't do, I cannot do her justice. There is no point trying, mage. Your answers bore me. From now on, you're the ultimate snooze fest. I can feel my spirit breaking, but I have to get myself together. I'm, I'm guessing it's the motives then. I'm guessing it's the motives. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, mo motives. I got it. There we go. You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? Yeah. So for us it was family. Um I can't actually remember what other Oh, and Sayakas was like her her band or whatever she was in. So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. I don't know which one's my favorite yet. I do like this one because it's so like blase, like, oh, yeah, no, I hope you wouldn't forget something so important. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. <laughs> and she's so freaking sarcastic as well. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? Family. Uh, yep, you got it. <laughs> so that's my question to you all. <laughs> I just, I love Junko. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? The theme for the motive Monokuma gave us for the first murder. Gave us those DVDs. On my DVD it was footage of my family, her friends. Dream they all shared for the first murder. The motive we given was. Uh, Love triangles. Um, international relations, yeah, freaking. Oh, I love countries. Uh, human connections. I got it. The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? Yeah. Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. For example, your friends. Oh, well, you actually said family there. That's weird. For example, your family. That's on purpose. 
That's on purpose. That is on purpose. Why are you doing that game? Why are you fucking with me? Why are you why are you saying different things to the subtitles? This is weird. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. Uh-huh. But still, what a cool thing to do. Right? You're a, you're a bit of a dick. You're the one that did it. <laughs> yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Every line, every line from her is gold. Okay, time for the next question. Um, so, what was the theme for the second motive? Second motive, uh, second motive, the motive theme was, uh, when we got those weird envelopes from Monokuma. Mine mentioned how I used to, uh, oh, did we? Did we used to wet the bed? I actually forgot if we learned that before. Um, the past. I got it! It was our past, right? Mm-hmm. Yay! Makoto got it right again! That time, the theme was... Embarrassing memories and secrets! Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> I just, I love her. I love her. Um... So yeah, we never really learned what everyone's was, though. I would be very curious to see if... Uh, wh what they were, just because I'm a nosy bastard. And the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. Yes. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? Yeah, I've, I've got, um, I've got things, to, well, actually, I don't have a watch on. Relax, relax. Okay, on to the next question. So, what was the motive for the third murder? Um... Shit, what was the next murder? Oh, that was Celeste. Um, Celeste's turn to murder was... She wanted to buy a European castle and live there with a bunch of handsome men. I mean, as, mo as far as motives go, that's quite a good one, isn't it? Uh, a new outlook, gr greed. Greed. I got it! It was money, wasn't it? Greed. Seek and destroy! <laughs> Hell yeah, you got it again! Oh, wow. We're on a roll, Makoto. We're on a roll. Straight it was money. Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain. Who does she? That voice. I mean, I've heard that um, someone in the comments said that Junko's character has two, like, multiple VAs to cover all the different personalities, which is really cool. Um, that sounds like sounds a little bit like Laura Bailey to me. I don't know if it is her. I could be wrong, but anyway. Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction. What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? I assume because we're going to get to the reason... Well, is the reason she just likes despair and wants us to all feel the same? <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy-ass Sakura's crazy-ass death? Oh, uh, Don't call her crazy. Sakura was great. Motive in the case of Sakura's death was... Um... The theme of the motive was... Uh... Oh god. Uh... Betrayal? I got it! Yeah, betrayal. In her case, it was betrayal. Precisely. You see... Oh, she's gone sad now. Once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How oh, painfully delightful. Oh, painfully delightful. Well, I did get the first one wrong, actually, but okay. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal, totally middle of the road. Yeah, they are. I'd say so. But of course, those aren't the only motives that exist in this world. I didn't realize, I, I didn't see the crown last time. I don't think I noticed the crown. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. 
They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. Uh-huh. This is what we refer to as the seed of despair. Okay. Seed of despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. That makes sense. That does make sense. Yeah. You can't have light without darkness. Or the other way. D darkness is the absence of light. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Two sides of the same coin. Divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? <laughs> Bayaki is so done. Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. Uh huh. What I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? Uh, is Junko saying that all of those things, all of those motives, were stuff that has happened in the past? Like, our family has already died. And it's, yeah. And by taking away that memory, it's like, oh my, no, my family's still alive. I, oh, I need to, I need to get out and protect them. That's what it is, isn't it? All of that stuff has already happened. Hence my theory that the world has gone to shit. She made us forget that so that we have hope. Yeah, I think that's probably what they're getting at here. And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway. I think. Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. True. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. Yeah. The, I, I'm, I'm calling it the, the, the real world, the outside world, is completely... Fucked. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Correct, Mundo. <laughs> Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? Mm. What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? Because they're probably really horrific. <laughs> A most thought, isn't it? <laughs> but it's not enough. I want more distress. More despair. <laughs> this might be my favorite one, actually. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and passing the savings <laughs> on to you, let me give you a hint. Huh? Really? Then hurry up and tell us. I don't think you guys are going to like it. Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. I'd like for you to see the outside world. Mm-hmm. The outside world? You mean the world beyond the school walls? So something really did happen out there. Yeah. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You want to see what's out there? Yes and no, but mostly yes. I wanna see too. You're gonna love our reactions, aren't you? See your faces sink into despair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now then, open sesame! Oh boy. I'm so excited. Oh. Behold! The world beyond the school wall! This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into.
What the fuck? Okay, that's not what I expected. What the? Have they taken over the entire world? Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense! What, what am I looking at? From a movie or something, right? What you just saw, all of you should recognize it. We should recognize it? What about it should we recognize? Well, I recognize freaking Monokuma's face everywhere. This whole thing is insane. That world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass! Cause it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die! Oh shit. I don't remember! Ain't a fucking excuse no more! Cause now it's time! Oh my god! For the final class trial! Aren't we already in the final class trial? Oh shit. Oh god. Genocide Jack's memories. Photo of Kyoko and Head. Well, let's see what they say. Come on, bitches! Remember or die! Oh my god. What the fuck happened outside? <laughs> I want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! Genocide Jack remembers. What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, I'm missing all of these. You're telling us to remember, but. What am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember anything. This is the end. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. That is the one. And I totally called it, by the way. I totally called it with the Genocide Jack thing. That's, uh, yep. We're gonna, we're gonna remember. Someone remembers very vividly, I'm sure. Nope. Nope. Okay, so it's okay. It's absolutely hinting there, but I'd already figured it out. Genocide Jack on, is the key bitches. to our salvation. What the fuck happened outside? What the fuck what happened outside? <laughs> I love I don't this. Understand. What's the meaning of the foot? Is this another one of your practical jokes? Get ready. I mean, Get ready. To remember, but God, I'm missing all of those. To be remembering? <laughs> no, it's wrong. Nice. Actually, she might remember. Playing the pronoun game. Here we go. Who might remember? A certain friend of yours, Toko. The other Toko. Genocide Jack. What? Yeah. The two of them share certain kinds of knowledge, but their memories aren't linked, right? I see. If their memories are separate, then even if one personality is forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. That's cool. That is cool. What do you say, Toko? Get, get sneezy. Get the pepper. Get the pepper. Are you telling me to swap places with her? Yeah, I like her more anyway. No, absolutely not. That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity. It happens all the time. Don't worry about it. You won't even know. Toko, you're the only one we can rely on. That's gonna get through to her. That's gonna get through to her. Instantly sneeze. <laughs> no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do. Bye, Aki. Yeah, please, we need you. Okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. It's me, your friendly neighborhood serial killer. I'm trying to think of like the. I mean, we've only just really seen the real Junko. It it feels feels almost like not really fair to say she's my favorite. But I think Kyoko is still my favorite. Then Junko and Genocide Jill are both, like, right, right there. Um, so good. She just gave in like it was nothing. <laughs> yes, she did. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Yeah, Bayaki is the guy for this job. 
Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The, the one on the screen. The video that's playing right now. The video that's playing right now. Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh yeah, of course you will know. Oh my god, this is brilliant. Uh, nice to meet you too. <laughs> That's enough! Just look at the stupid screen! For once, I'm with you, I'm with you again, hero. Aye aye! Roger, you got it, Captain! <laughs> look at that. Damn. Pure chaos. Well? Does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but... Of course it does! <laughs> then you remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do! Yeah, and she's gonna be like, well, we're gonna say, why didn't you say anything? And she's gonna be like, oh, you never asked. So you didn't lose your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something earlier? Get ready. I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me. I'm the quiet type, you know? I called it. Yep. Oh my god, she's the worst liar in the world. She didn't technically lie, she just didn't say anything. More importantly, if you really do remember, what is it? Huh? What's the matter, Mester? Do you really not remember the tragedy? Oh. Was the tragedy not... Not solely what happened in the school? Is it the grand... Oh. The tragedy? Answer the question. <laughs> what happened out there? Well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening. But it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Okay. Why is that phrase coming up now? We need specifics. Because it's all because of that event. What is? Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now. Is now? The world's been destroyed, get it? Uh-huh. Destroyed? Explain yourself. Tell us everything you know. Copy that, darling. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, happened about a year ago. Okay. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. I guess you could say what happened was man-made. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster! Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history! You haven't really said what it was, though. Did... I, I mean, it looks like... They're all members of the ultimate despair. Like, it's some sort of... Like... I don't know. Some sort of weird cult that just spread worldwide and or, or I, don't, I don't know in basically no time flat the world turned out the way it did and that's that that's all there is to it come on there wasn't a single concrete description in there again i hate that i'm agreeing with you so much hero as of late but you're very right there well it just so happens i don't know any of the specifics well shit Yeah, but she don't remember. We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Oh, I couldn't live up to Master's expectations! To die! To die! This is the true tragedy! Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. <laughs> Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? I think this might be my second favorite Junko. The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world can end it. That's the important thing. I, I still- I, I need specifics. Like, is everyone just fighting each other? Like, whatever tragedy actually happened, has it just caused everyone to just fucking lose their minds? How can the world just end? It's- it's the world! Calm down. It's okay. 
There is no need to panic. Just calm down. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. I mean, that's always the case, isn't it? Well, people are living a bit longer than a hundred nowadays, some of them. But in general, that, uh, that is actually true. Which is a very sobering thought, by the way. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous, I have another ridiculous story to tell you. Oh, I like stories. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation, which has given Gyakuya's life all its meaning. Oh, she about to ruin his day. What? What did you say? And while I'm on his, I'm on his side at the moment, I actually would like to see his soul get destroyed. I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake <laughs> Hey, hey! So, what do you think happened to the Togami family? Oh, gee. Um, I don't know, man. This is going to take me a while to think about. I mean, the Togami family could have fell. But, the Togami family could have fallen. But also, if you think about it, the Togami family could have could have fallen. So I'm going to go for the Tsugami family fell. Correct. Well done, peasant. Thanks. But I didn't say anything yet. Oh. <laughs> I just got to fucking board with <laughs> Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. Oh, man. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, great. But... Do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? Yeah, in many ways, Junko. Too many ways to possibly go into in the space of a YouTube video. Anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated! Oh shit, son! What? What the hell are you talking about? That sucks to be you, dude. I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Oh, damn. You better get procreating with Toko, buddy. Otherwise, your family's done. <laughs> Stop with these idiotic jokes. Oh, look at him. He's upset. And you know what? I should kind of like it. Now I know many of you might think, oh, well... Obviously, at this point, you know, you, you, you're you with Byakia now, right? Or oh, Byakia, however you say his name. But no. This whole game, I've hated his guts. And I'm I'm going to savor this. I'm going to savor him being... No, his world ending. The world may have ended, his world has just ended. Stop! And said with such authority... A peasant would dare challenge us, the avatar of divine punishment. You must learn your place, peasant. You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny. Oh dear. They, they couldn't possibly be gone. The Togami family is destined to guide the world. No anymore, pal. Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago. It got fucked a full year ago. That doesn't make any sense. Why not, Makoto? Huh? I don't make sense. Woo woo. There's no way that happened a year ago. I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago. I mean, yeah, the world didn't look pretty, you know, didn't look fucked up then, but that could just be a false memory. I don't know, if they can get rid of memories, they can make false ones. a world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? <laughs> have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? I have. Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right, it sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. We've, of course, we've been in this school probably about a year ago, for about a year, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, we've definitely been here before we actually thought we arrived here. Well, well yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. Of course. Ago. No, we didn't. A few weeks ago. Whoa, wait, that's actually terrifying how long we may have actually been here Ooh, then. Ooh, I get it. 
You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Oh my god, we've been here two years. So, I bet it was that. I bet we were brought in here before the world went to shit. Or maybe we just happened to be, you know, in the school. We all got accepted. We... Although the interview that... Well, the, the interview from the headmaster makes me think that they did know the world was possibly going to go to shit. So this was a last-ditch effort to maybe preserve humanity. We all went in two years ago, and then somehow Junko infiltrated the school and hijacked it. That seems to be the case. Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. Damn. Yeah, that's, that's something, isn't it? I didn't think it'd be that long. Two years ago? What is that? <laughs> what the hell is this chick trying to say? <laughs> I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. Okay. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? I feel like I do. What are the memories I took from you? Well, the... the... two years. Come now, answer us! Answer with all your heart and soul! All my heart and soul? How are we supposed to answer? Oh, I keep on... I, for some reason, my brain completely fired. It's still voice acted. Why did I suddenly decide to read that? I don't I, know. I just don't know what's going on anymore. Oh. Still, we have to answer somehow. If we don't, everything ends right here. The memories that were stolen from us. What Junko says is true. If we first came here two years ago, but the rest of us only remember getting here within the last few weeks or so, so the memory she took from us... Our life at Hope's Peak... Hope's Academy... Hope's Peak... Hope's... The, the Peak of Hope Academy. I got it! If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Yes. No. No. No, no, no. No. <laughs> no. I mean, no matter what anyone says... Uh-oh. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. I'm the best peasant. Seriously? This routine again? We've lost two years worth of memories? That's cray cray. That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. Which actually makes all the deaths that much sadder, if you think about it, because we've all spent so much time together. We may have all been friends. We may have, like, I may have liked Bayaki, probably not, but we may have liked each other, and... Oh my god, that actually does make it that much more tragic. Wow. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. I mean, that's crazy. That's... Trying to imagine what that's like. I mean, we all forget so many things about our life, but... To have a complete blank of that amount of time. That's... That, that's not possible! I want to think that too. I don't want to believe it. I mean, I'm still... I would like to know how they did that. How they erased our memories, but... Nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe. I want it to be impossible. But if it's the truth, then we have to accept it. Oh, more bullets. Okay. Lock a pocket but oh god, there's so many there. Lock a note oh shit. I could never lose something like that. You've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! Uh -oh. Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! Uh -oh. This is all just surreal. It is. It would be. If two years have passed, how freaking old am I? Good point. <laughs> Everyone's so conflicted. <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to shoot, though. 
I don't want to believe it, but I know there's evidence that reveals the time... Oh, uh, well, yeah. We know- we do know that this is true. But which piece of evidence do they want? It's gotta be... I could never lose something like that! Well, I mean, the group photo. Hell no! No. Possible. Locker. I, mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school well, uh, It could be anything. one of these. I don't know. Heck, I've never even gone to a single class. This is all just surreal. I mean, we've already had the group photo, though. That's the thing. Years have passed. How freaking old am I? I can't remember the difference between the different notebooks. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Right. Uh. Right, notebook we found on the second floor. Oh, it has notes for a number of different classes. Right, when he says I haven't been to a single class, I think we have to fire that one. Let's try that. So yeah, we'll do the notebook on what Hero says. <coughs> Let's give that a go. So, speed up. Get ready, get ready. Get ready. Yes! Sometimes it pays to read, doesn't it? Hero, there's something I'd like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Uh huh. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. Mm hmm. Wizza Wizza, is something wrong? <laughs> Wizza Wizza! It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. Is that jogging the old. <laughs> This is absolutely my handwriting, without a doubt! Yep. But how is this... I don't remember ever writing in this thing! No! No way! It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. But somehow, you forgot all about it. Yeah, I really would love to know how they fucked with our memory. A part of me wonders if it's that machine in the, um, in the physics lab. Lies! It's all one big lie! I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. Mm. <laughs> and whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. Mm. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? I'm afraid so. Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here! Yeah, it's kind of mental. This has been great. Shit, man! I've never been to a funeral! Hell yes! <laughs> oh my god. Right, so... What happens in every one? Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? I mean, this. well, I guess there's still a couple of things we need to clear up. How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And that's what I said, I mean... Oh, we probably knew each other so well. And got so close. And to have that wiped out and then have... I mean, who who knows, for example, like... Celeste could have been besties with Hifumi. Probably not, but maybe, right? And then she ends up killing him. Uh, it's just messed up. And on top of that, something tragically sad happened one year ago. Yeah, the, I want to know more about that too. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. What was it? You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you've forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. I mean, I don't know if we really made that choice. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. No, 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 Ju Tell me right now. What were you about to say? What? You can't do that. We are bored 
of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair. Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves. I'm sick of expositioning all this shit. I'm sick of exp expositioning all this shit. I need it though. Figure out what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. Our memories come apart? She's talking about the moment where we must have lost- Oh, the moment that we lost them? Can all think of one time? Can you? Just after I set foot in the main hall for the first time, and that was... No, it wasn't when I fainted, because we already obviously not remembered anything. Um... Entrance ceremony? Acceptance letter? Entrance ceremony. No. No, no, I thought they meant a different- not the one that we saw. No, no, no. Acceptance letter. Shoot. Yeah, it was before we got here. Well, actually, no. Could it have been when we fainted? But no, he didn't. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna try all of these. We've got enough hearts. Just after I sit from the main hall for the first time, and that was... Yeah, oh, maybe it was when I fainted then. I got yeah, okay. Oh! Oh, no, 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 right. So, yeah, the beginning of the game was actually two years ago. We step into the school. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense, because... Okay, I'm confused a little bit. to the gates of this school and stepped foot in the main hall. When I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. Wow! You still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? Um, so I don't know much about the details, but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to think when that was, though. Like, in the time frame. Is that... We wouldn't have, um, it, we would have to have passed out after, after the two years. Because otherwise... And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? I guess it must have been something like that. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom with my head on a desk. I assume not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. <laughs> but instead, two whole years okay. have gone by. So we lived through that two years. Wait. The reason it felt so short was because our memories of the time in between had been completely removed. So yeah, we we faint we fainted when we entered the school. We lived two years, and then we woke up without those memories. So we must have fainted twice. I'm so confused. You got it, honey. Two years of memories <laughs> gone. Which means, of course, when everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. Well, yeah, I know I know that much. I'm just trying to think, like, the, the initial time we arrived at the school, two years ago, is that when they're saying we fainted in the main hall? And then lived those two years? Does that sound weird to anyone else, or is my brain just not working this through correctly? Because, like, why would we need to have been... Why would we need to have been 
we didn't have any memories at that point, right? So, the, we get to the school two years ago, we lived those two years, then it would make sense to have our memory erased of those two years, but it sounds like they're saying our memory was erased before the two years? I don't know, anyway. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. Yeah, so there must have been... another instance of us passing out. We must have fainted twice, is what I'm trying to say. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? <laughs> yep, that's what they reveal. You were all such close friends. You spent two years together, and then you started killing each other. That's so fucked up. And it was also you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated. That's, that's so fucked up. Shit. So what? How do we win that? How? What? <laughs> what do we do now? You're the one who set things up to be like this. I love you all so much. <laughs> what? Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. It's only natural that I would fall in love. Okay, this is weird. So, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all. Please do. All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair. Our plan to bring despair to all mankind. The ultimate despair, all mankind. Let's go back in time two years, okay? Yeah, please do. Back to when everyone first came to this school. Right, so the beginning of the game was absolutely two years ago. School life during that first year overflowed with hope happiness yep we have the two years and yeah may maybe they're not saying maybe maybe I've just kind of misunderstood maybe we we did go through those two years and then we passed out and they erased those two years that makes the most sense it sounds like the other way was way more complicated but anyway um oh, oh man boy. Mondo is so buff. Now he's just but too. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much. You were all having the time of your life. Yeah, it looks like looks like Hifumi's having a great time. But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. And then the the event happened. Because after that an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. I mean, a part of me thinks it's actually cooler to leave it not specified what the actual tragedy was, because our imaginations are way more effective. Now, I don't know if they are going to explain what the tragedy is ever, but you know what I mean? Sometimes it's better to not really be specific. All too soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. Yeah, I feel like maybe that's an intentional choice to, to not really, you know... It's like not showing the monster in a monster movie. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. Shit. What... are you? Hmm? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history, and the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. No, this has got to be a bigger group. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say... It was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like a natural phenomenon. Okay. 
everyone is capable of it. Okay. And now the entire world has fallen into I see, despair. I see what they're throwing down. It's funny that I mentioned the um the the Joker uh, in the Dark Knight. Um, similar kind of thing in the point he was trying to make. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. Mm. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay. So <laughs> let's get back to the story. Yeah, what what what, what happened? What happened? Pope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. Lucky us. The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. And then, something super neat happened! Now pay attention, because this is important, and I'm only going to say it once! So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter! Okay. That's right! It was transformed into a shelter! And saw the plates and all the plating on the walls and shit. <laughs> You did say- oh, she did say it twice! Ha! <laughs> now, someone was responsible for that transformation, for creating what would eventually become your prison. Is it the headmaster? Do any of you know who that might have been? I'm guessing the headmaster. Yeah. The Prime Minister! I got it! It could only have been the headmaster of Hope Peak Academy! Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I wonder if that's when the interviews were done. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. That's why he asked us to mm. make that promise. To say that we were willing to live in the school forever. We believe he had something like that in mind, yes. Yeah, until you fucked it up. If you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, so I've, I've had that idea in my head for a while. Uh, obviously I didn't know it was true. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. Obviously I have no idea about the specifics of how it's all gone down. And because we had that same hope? Until now, at least. That's why we all agree to live here forever. And it sounds a lot safer. Or it, obviously it wasn't in the end, but it sounded a lot safer than the outside world. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. Mm. <laughs> it's laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. I mean, how the heck could he? He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that made it impossible for you to escape despair. <laughs> I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. Yeah, I, I guess everything was almost custom built for, for your little game. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Oh shit. Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. Really? That's kind of crazy. You mean, we trapped ourselves in here? That was so crazy. And then you forgot all about it about how you were trapped in here. Oh my god, that is wild. Once you finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. So how the heck did you... I mean, there's still a lot of things that I'm like, how the heck have you done that? And thus began the killing game. Me and Mukuro have come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. And I'm guessing that they actually were, like, 
broadcasting it to the whole world to really amp up and show that any little hope that remained was was gone. And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. So we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So what are you going to do about it? So I thought I should show them, which is why I... <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? What the mastermind did to show everyone in the outside world, that was... Oh boy, here we go. Hangman. Hangman's Gambit. Hit. Oh god. Um, I'm not actually sure. Uh, I have no idea what that word is. Why am I being so so dumb? Um, yeah, uh, it's not that. Oh god. A. Uh, oh my god. No, it's not. I. It's not I. Hit. Hijack. Oh no, it is I. I mean, I knew that. I knew, I knew that. Where's where is the J? Give me a J. Where's the J gone? I need a J. Boom. I knew it was hijacked the whole time. Now I understand. You're talking about you hijacking the airwaves, aren't you? Yeah, this, I mean, uh, for, for two high school students to do all this is kind of nuts, but obviously... Well, they must be part of a bigger... I don't know, man. Uh-huh. That's exactly what I'm talking about. To show the world the murder taking place at this school, which was meant to be a symbol of hope. Mm-hmm. That was the whole point of the ultimate despair! When I said climax, that was what I was talking about! The world watched as you fell into despair and began to kill each other one after another. Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. <laughs> Isn't the power of television <laughs> just amazing? It's, yeah, it's all right. By the way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried to come and rescue you. Oh, crap. Really? Uh, are you serious? Well, then it's not all bad out there, then. But utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling them. How? How have you done all this? I mean, I love it, but how? How on earth? Expelled them? I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch, refusing to give up on hope and trying to force their beliefs on the world. Like you have? But in the end, I was able to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? To bring despair to everyone in the outside world? Well, sure, but I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So it's like, give and take! Give and take? You're so full of shit! Wow, Makoto, yeah. And there's a reason I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies! I would love to know. I would also love to know how you even... Well, I, I, again, uh, maybe maybe the specifics <clears throat> aren't really important. I mean, we built up two years of memories together. You were all my treasured classmates. Sure. Sorry, that's a lie. I just figured you'd despair even more when you found out a friend had betrayed you. Damn. And that's the truth, which is what you wanted, right? So... Does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? You solved the mystery, but despair at the truth, right? Yeah. I would still I would still like to know how the heck you actually did all this, but Don't tell me. 
Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? I'm guessing so, yes. And if we did, then what? Our final desire for creating this world of despair was so we could experience one last class trial. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? I don't know. See? Discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. Truth can be full of despair, too! Like right fucking now! Right fucking now! Truth full of despair. That's... Not to mention, all those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. Yeah, I mean, everyone's dead. I mean, with the world having ended and all. Our family's dead, that's really... that's... Meaningless? Then we... have been murdering each other? For nothing? And think about it. You chose to lock yourselves up here, then started murdering each other to get out. I mean, this really, really, really fucked up. We weren't just random strangers either. We were classmates. We'd spent two years together. <laughs> no, even I can't laugh at that. <laughs> we get it. We get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? <laughs> we get it already! So what happens now? So help us! I'll do anything! Just help me! Hero, you must you really are an idiot for thinking that's gonna work. A peasant begging for his life? Oh, how delightful! We've never witnessed such a travesty firsthand. But I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me. <laughs> What a surprise. All I want is despair, and there's no reason for it. And since there's no reason, there's no argument against it. There's just no understanding it. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of parallels between this and, and, and the Joker and the Dark Knight. It's kind of great. No argument, no understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? To swap despair for chaos, and it's basically, yeah. Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like, but... But there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say! Oh. Huh? You say the world's fallen apart, but I haven't seen it for myself. True, we've only seen a video. So I don't acknowledge it. I don't accept it as the truth! I suppose it could just be bullshit. Until you see it with your own eyes, truth and falsehood overlap one another. Yeah, that's a good point. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now. Is that what you're saying? Hmm. If so, what then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth until you can go outside and see for yourself? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Well, I think I'd rather take my chance at this point. Trust me, I'm not lying about any of this. Mm. Well, even if it's all true, I refuse to give in. I refuse to lose to you. That's it, the spirit of hope. For the sake of everyone you've killed. Huh? Everyone I've killed? What are you talking about? You're the one who killed them. Mm. I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. And that's all it took for you to start killing each other. You're nothing but bloodthirsty animals. I don't- I'm not listening, Junko. Yeah, yeah, la 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 la. That's why anyone was murdered here, peasant. Say what you want about hope, but we're all creatures of instinct, right? Despair comes naturally. It's a battle of ideologies. Hell yes! <laughs> that's funny as shit! It's funny as shit! No! isn't just some game to us. It's murder, plain and simple. You stole our memories, invented reasons for us to do it. You pushed us all into a corner. It's all your fault. Yeah, you tell her, Makoto. You certainly have a talent for passing the buck, don't you? That must be your hope, huh? Uh-huh. But we don't have much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course. You 
didn't forget about that little rule, did you? We're all voting for you. Oh, and also, since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules. What? What? You guys so full of hope, and me so full of despair. I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. If even one of you votes to punish Hope, well then, I'll consider that a win for me and punish everyone on the side of Hope. It's just one person. <laughs> oh, but don't worry. I won't be voting, of course. Even if you don't, you've still got the upper hand in all this. It's okay. Nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? Why don't we just vote for, vote for Junko? Oh, let me just mention one more thing. When I win to punish you guys, you'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. I mean, no fighting, no killing does sound good, though. What? You mean we just... We'd have to just live here? I mean, unless the real world is actually not fucked up, I don't see how that's actually that bad she at this point. If you're not happy with that, then go ahead and punish me and make your way to the outside world. I think that's what we've got to do, right? Enter a world fallen from grace where only despair exists, where you'd likely be dead within a day. Likely, not certain. What are you saying? So no matter what, we're doomed. Wait a sec. I just got hit with an inspiration bomb. Oh boy. Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't gonna dig that at all. No. So here's what'll happen. One of you will get to experience an instant super impressive punishment. What? You, you can't just. Do you mean to say you'll execute one of us? And I get to decide who's gonna have to suck it down. Wait, this isn't fair. Makoto, you're up. I've already been executed. Me? Yeah, you've been acting up, causing all kinds of trouble. I hate you! <laughs> so let me make this clear. Everyone has two choices in front of them. Yeah, please, I've got confused. You changed the rules like a million times. If a single person votes for hope to be punished, yeah. Then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest oh. of you will live here in peace. Great. Here, on the other hand, if you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. The choice is obvious, guys. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. No, that we don't know that for sure. I think we... Sacrifice me? But that's... What? Has your resolve softened? Have you lost confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? What if we vote for ourselves? Don't you have faith in your friends? What if we make a noble sacrifice so they can live? No! That's not it! Assuming the real world is as dangerous as they say. It's okay. You're right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. I don't know what the right answer is, guys. Because one of them might still vote for me. I'd like to think not, but... Guys? Also, when Toko comes back, she's going to be so confused. She ain't going to know what the fuck's going on. It's so beautiful. Your lovely faces eroded by despair. Besides, Yoko, you could never betray your father, could you? I mean, he's dead now, so... What? I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. Yeah, true, but he's dead now, so... The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. <laughs> I mean, the fact that... 
she seems to want us all to stay here, apart from me. Makes me think that we do want to punish her. But are they going to go for that? Kyoko. One person's despair is enough to seal your fate. Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? So, who do you think's going to give in? Whose despair is going to sign your death warrant? No one. Nobody's going to give in to despair. We're not going to lose to you. So boring. Stop until the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. What's gonna happen? It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. So what are you gonna do if, 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 if... I, I don't... Because surely you're gonna be bored of shit... You're gonna be bored shitless if everyone, apart from me, decides to live here. There's no way you're gonna just not stir up shit again. There's no way. And your stupid life. The final vote. This is it. The ultimate confrontation. I have to show everyone. I have to make them remember. I have to convince them not to give up. To live in despair. That's not really living at all. Oh god, what do I say here? They keep wanting to show the photo of Kyoko and the headmaster. I don't really know why. That's not coming to play. Up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. Oh. <laughs> By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. Oh, really? The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Shit, if that's true. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Me. Uh, <laughs> all of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are waiting. Oh, speechless. I am too. So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? Okay, so I must have to shoot the Hulk. Unless... Unless it wants me to take the word Hope and fire it at, at everyone. Does it want me to do that? The world is in despair. You are despair. If I don't do something, everyone's going to be consumed by despair. Yeah, I must have to... Yes. Hope is contagious too. Yes. We right. Give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never there we go. Up. Right, so let's shoot at everyone. That would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. Hero. Don't yes, now. figured it out. All my fortune telling senses are telling me not to leave this place. No! I mean, I don't know how that's helping, really. But to live means moving forward, right? Oh, it, it's, it is helping. So even if it's hard, even if we're scared, we don't have any choice, do we? Gotta keep moving on. Keep on keeping keep on. Keep on living. I want to open the next door. There must be something new waiting for me! So that's why. That's why. No matter what, I need to get out of here! Yeah, and I think overall, even if it does lead to our deaths outside, which we don't know for sure, it it proves that Junko's wrong. I think that that's the only way. The whole fortune telling thing doesn't matter anymore! What matters? It's my own gut feelings. I mean, I still don't know if I would trust your gut feelings, hero, but yeah. Right. We won't give up. Same again. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If Same again. Done, speedy, speedy, speedy. Oh, he's got faith in himself. Totally the only reason we're okay is thanks to the air purifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't lose hope now. You got this. 
I've been thinking about all this. And I was thinking, at a time like this, what would Sakura do? You only get stronger by taking adversity by the horns. Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. Yeah, confront that horny, I mean, thorny path with enthusiasm. That sounds like something she'd say, right? It, do, it does. I think that's definitely what she'd say. Which is why I... Yeah! I've made up my mind! Mm. We won't give up! Same again, same again, same as again. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! If I were to die... Speed, speed, speed! I decided to have... By the way, the only reason we use thanks to the air purifier See what Hina says now. You want. I've made my decision. Damn right. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words... As soon as I die, the communal life you've Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Freaking me. Don't lose hope now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Jill cares anyway. I don't care either way. I'm fine with whichever one is more interesting. Exactly. Actually, I may not look like it. I always hated school. <laughs> so, no matter how I look, still hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I... I... I love that Toko has no say in this and has no memory of this now. Oh, but no matter what, Master has to come along with us. Oh boy. If we get out, we no killing anyone. As long as Especially not hope, me. We'll never give up. If I were to die. Alright, speed, speed, speed. By the way, the, air, the only reason we use thanks to the air say whatever you want if I die. In other words, the communal life you've all- You can keep on living as long as I have my master's <laughs> love! <laughs> oh my god. Have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are awaiting. Go on, Bayak, yeah. You got this. Don't lose hope now. What's the matter? You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Is he gonna act like no? I was never, I was never in doubt anyway. It never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. You're so predictable. But don't misunderstand me. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. Likewise. I just have to keep my word. I swore I would end the life of the mastermind. Good man. Besides, the Togami family isn't dead, because I'm still alive. Well so said. Until I can restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known. He wants to go bone someone. Toko, you're in luck. We right. won't give up. Last one. As Last one. As there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, Speed through. Music's way. changed too, hasn't it? Music. For only death and despair. I already said I would claim the mastermind's life by whatever means necessary. Yeah. So, what are you gonna do? Gonna kill you, Junko. You just die. Is that what or rather, you you're gonna kill yourself. Don't I nearly missed that. I didn't really know my father, so I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. But even if we're just connected by blood, there's one thing I am sure of. He would never want us to abandon Makoto and choose to stay here. Damn right you wouldn't. I can't explain why exactly. But if I'm sure of anything, I'm sure of that. Just because we don't actually know anything, does that mean we can't understand? Could it be that... No, never mind. So, Makoto. I don't think you wound up at this school because you had good luck or bad luck. I think you came here for a different reason entirely. Oh really? Do tell. You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. I'm the ultimate hope. You came here to confront despair without ever giving up. I'm the ultimate hope, right? And if that's true, I think we could call you the ultimate hope. What do you think? Damn right we are. What the? Oh, you didn't expect this, did you, Junko? What the hell are you? Oh. The ultimate hope has been added to the truth bullets. So 
Oh, we're gonna do the rhythm mini game now. We are, aren't we? Your stupid faces, the stupid things you've said, the stupid way you all treat each other. It's all so uncool, so unhip. So unhip. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> I'm not any kind of elite anything. Hope isn't a talent you develop, but, but still. But I still. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna mess this up. You suck. So uncool. You dare to stand against us? Hope is a joke. Who are you? Okay, I need to reload. Suffer from despair. I just love despair. Shit. Okay, let's just go. You suck. So uncool. You're unbearable. <laughs> Hope is a joke. Who are you? Would you like to die? No. Come on. You're gross. Thanks. Suffer you too. Everything is pointless. From despair. I just love despair. Everything is pointless. No. Here we go. The despair ultimate hope. Despair into tomorrow. Hope keeps on going. Yes. I refuse to give up. I refuse to get bored. I refuse to throw it all away. I refuse to despair. Damn right. Because all I have going for me. Is the desire to keep moving forward. What's going on? Oh. What's happening? <laughs> oh, what's gonna happen now? We're all gonna vote for you, Junko. End of the trial. I did really bad on that. Oh, I got a C rank there. Another one. And a B rank. Still gets an A rank. No idea how. Doesn't matter. Oh, wow, that was so good. Thanks for the coins. It looks like we've reached the end. I think it may be time to vote. We just gotta pull the lever, right? We gotta do the right thing, hero. Good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh my god. Let's put an end to these trials. Put an end to the killing. Yes. With our own hands. Oh my god. What's the punishment gonna be? Ho 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 ho! Oh man, I'm so excited. The hell? Yeah, you didn't expect that, did you? Indeed. You've lost Junko. I lost? You did. I lost me? No way! Well, that's just... uh, um... You still don't accept it? Even the ultimate despair herself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair, it would seem. Yeah, that's a very good point. What the heck? There's no use trying to fight it now. Well, that's just... Totally the best! Oh, she actually loves it. Of course. You know, it reminds me of, like, the Adams Family, where they like the bad things and hate the good things. Oh my god. Huh? So this is despair. She's drooling. Came to the school two years ago, created our incredibly detailed plan. Horrifically detailed plan. Even killed my own sister for it. And now I... To come this far and fail at the very end. True despair. This is the most ultimately ultimate despair. What are you talking about? We... we know... yeah. And now I... I was bored from the world... Uh, bored of the world the moment I was born. That's why I've been looking forward to this so desperately. This once in a lifetime experience. This is my first and last colossal despair, here at the moment of death. To have the chance to taste the highest grade despair, the utter failure of my dreams. True despair! So hopelessly happy right now. Huh? She is obviously enjoying this, yes. Anyway. Are you prepared to admit defeat? <laughs> Do you think I care whether I won or lost? Either way, it doesn't change a thing. Outside is only despair, inside is only despair. No matter where you go, despair awaits you. Whatever. 
It's not true. Not possible. You're wrong. Oh. Huh? Don't make me repeat myself. Let me tell you this right now. We no longer fear despair. Okay. Because we've decided to enter the outside world with hope. <laughs> yeah, Makoto totally seduced us over to his side. Don't, don't, don't say it like that. <laughs> Dang it, Rumpa, the music, the main menu music. I love it. Hey. You said that despair is as contagious as any disease. However. But the same is true of hope. Hmm. All you have to do is look at us and see how true that is. Kyoko? I hate those faces you're making. See those awful looks causes me nothing but pain. There's one last thing. Let me just say last, uh, one last thing. If you guys want to get all hung up on the word hope, that's no skin off my nose. But just be warned. From this point on, one despair after another will stand in your way. <laughs> no matter where you run, no matter where you hide, maybe you'll find some hope, but there's a very fine line dividing that hope from bits of despair. <laughs> Knowing that, you still plan to cling to your hope? Yeah. Of course, because we... Sh Shut up, that was a rhetorical question. You interrupted my monologue. I'm almost done though, so whatever. Because it's almost punishment time. She is going to do it. Because she's that fucking crazy. That was the agreement, right? Hold on. It's not like I want you to die. You don't have... Oh, Makoto, don't be that. Don't be, don't be that white knight. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! Just, just let her do it. What? How many times do I have to tell you? Yeah, she did. She wants this. <laughs> All I want now is to taste the despair of death that you only get once in life, so. Don't get in my way! Have at it. What's gonna happen? <laughs> oh my god. So this is how the despair of death feels. <sighs> It's so wonderful! Even a tenth of this despair. Even a hundredth. I want every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. That sounds like Toko's voice, actually, as well. I want the, the entire same. world to die with that despair in its mouth! Okay, let's do this. Oh my I've God. deserved an extra special punishment for last. She is so getting off on this. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! <laughs> Junko has been found guilty. Oh, she's not being dragged. She's walking willingly. I love that detail. The ultimate punishment. A thousand blow- Oh my god, is she taking all of the punishments? Oh my god, she is. And she's loving it. Oh my god. Look at her hugging Monokuma. Peace out. <laughs> Brilliant. Wow. Is that emergency override? Oh, is that how we get out? Must be how we get out. And that's how everything came to an end. The final class trial. Junko Enoshima, the ultimate despair. Life at Hope's Peak Academy. It was all over. Chapter 6. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. The end. I'm guessing there's going to be an epilogue or something. Oh, we got the Monokuma hair tied. Nice. 
Oh, I wonder if you get if you do a new game plus and give that to Junko. Even though it's not really her. Anyway. I would like to save my data, yes. Can't believe it. I've also been told that there is an after credits scene as well, so even after saying it was all over, it's not like the building exploded or collapsed in on itself or anything. That wasn't the kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, with one exception. The air purifiers turned off. Just like Junko said, they shut off immediately. That was the only difference. Goodbye to Spare High School. Epilogue. What's gonna happen to us? We left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door, nobody made a sound. I felt almost absent-minded. This was our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck there in limbo, unmoving, unsure. But, in the end... Hey. We can't just stand around like this forever. At some point, we need to leave. It's nobody's surprise it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto. Would you do the honors? Okay. As if awakened by Kyoko's words, I took out the object we'd gotten. Up until the moment of her death, it had belonged to Junko. And in the end, she dropped it before us. So, um... I mean, at least she didn't, you know, fuck us over. Uh, is that really it? Is that really the key to this door? Indeed. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. Mm-hmm. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. Well, you're not really forcing us out. I guess with the air purifier off, I guess. I don't know. In other words. Yeah. But... Maybe it's actually a switch that's going to make the school self-destruct. I don't know about that. She never specifically said she'd let us leave here alive. I don't know, that'd be that'd be a kind of a crappy twist. It's true. You may be right about that. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. But even so, it's impossible to think we wouldn't take our chances with it. Yeah. Uh, um I guess that's true. <laughs> Still no Toko. Toko's gonna be like, what the fuck has happened? My beautiful scissors! <laughs> My beautiful scissors! <laughs> Take my scissors and jam them so far up. Whoa. <laughs> Where's the courtroom? Where's the mastermind? Yeah, you, you, you. Oh man, I'd be pissed if I was Toko. Like she didn't even. I mean, she knew, she knew Junko. Junko was the mastermind though. But like, oh, you, you're gonna be in for a treat. We can go outside? <laughs> I mean, he does want to... does want his family to live on. I don't know if he's going to have many other takers. That's enough. <laughs> that would be a great... Oh, that would be a greater horror than anything I've encountered so far. <laughs> anyway... Don't worry, I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave here without a problem. It's what happens after we get out that I'm worried about. But you know, in the end, I... I think part of me still thinks... For serious? Maybe when we get out of here, we'll see that everything she said about the whole world was a lie. That on the other side of this door is a world as peaceful as we remember, dude. I... I don't know if I believe that, but... Uh, I guess we're about to find out. As peaceful as we remember. No matter what it looks like, it's still our world. It's where we were meant to live. Um, I guess so. Unlike the school, the world is really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be some despair, that, no matter what. Oh, absolutely. But there also has to be lots of hope. There's gotta be- if there was people trying to save us, the, not everyone... In it can't be. Words. We will find hope. Try to find it. That by itself is the true meaning of hope. As long as you have that hope, you can keep moving forward, no matter what trouble you may fall into. Am I wrong? Is that what you mean, Makoto? Pretty much the gist of it, yeah. Hmm. 
I don't need any of you to spell it out for me. You know, Junko mentioned that there were still others out there who hadn't cast away hope just yet. <laughs> Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. Good luck. To rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the Tagami dynasty. You got it! I was gonna say, the closest donut shop. I don't know if there would be any still running. But we'll see. Hey. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if the... Who knows? <laughs> just get some flour and make some myself. If there's no flour, I'll just grow some wheat. <laughs> it's a lot of effort to go through for donuts, but donuts are great. I get it now. Hmm. If there's no road, you just gotta build one. Creation, fate is telling me to remake the world. Could it be? That's my hope, dude. How about that? I've reached the next stage, the next chapter of Yasuhiro Hagakure's life story about to be- Yeah, go for it. <laughs> cool. Ooh. Press the space, buddy. You're seriously creeping me out. Makoto. Even if everyone on the, in the outside world is gone. Even if the world is steeped in despair. <laughs> as long as I have people like you around, I can face forward with, and keep moving. If we can get out of here and do something, I have, have some sort of impact. Yeah. What can we do? There's so few of us and we're so small. What can we do? We can probably do anything. Yeah, we can do anything. We well, probably won't be able to breathe on the moon, but... Well, I guess this is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. But hey, if we gotta say goodbye, we may as well do it with a smile on our face. Aww. I mean, that is true. We gotta remember that... Like, our friends, which we probably were friends with for two years, didn't make it out. Hey guys! You guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. I'll totally take you up on that. You know how much I hate being annoyed. But if <laughs> something does come up, you may as well let me know. Aww. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. Okay. Don't. Don't make me like you, Bayakia. Don't do it. I don't know why, but I have a burning desire to start writing. Good. I might be able to pull it off. A story about Master and me, and the others, I guess. <laughs> I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still, it does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. They're building this abandoned. I just want to see what the outside world's like. I guess we graduated? We did. Looks like hope really is spreading. As long as I never give up, wouldn't it be so funny though if they do press that button and it does blow them up? That would be funny. I would hate it, but I would laugh. I have to push even harder. I'm gonna keep moving forward with hope in my heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope. I can move ahead. The world can move ahead. The door began to open. With my hands. With our hands. Hope and despair mingled together, opening the door to the future. Don't you dare cut to credits. Don't you dare cut to credits. Don't you dare cut to credits. It's very bright. God damn it! I hope this isn't going to be copyrighted, by the way. What a game. I mean, I'm absolutely going to stick around for the after credits, because there might be a scene. I've, I've been told there is one. Um, yeah, this is probably copyrighted. I might have to mute this. Music. Wow. What a freaking game. What a game. I I didn't I mean I didn't know what to expect going into this. Um, obviously, I knew that it was very well beloved by a lot of people, but I didn't think it was really my kind of game. I don't usually play these kinds of games, but I am absolutely 
going to do two and three. Eventually, not straight away, but subscribe if you want to watch me play two and three for the first time. Um, holy crud buckets. What a ride. I mean, way longer than I thought it was going to be. Not going to be, not going to lie. Uh, I, I loved, I loved it though. I didn't think I'd get that invested in it. The characters, you know, it had its moments where, you know, characters have to be spelled out certain things, especially Makoto. But, um, oh my god, I forgot the sauna competition. I, I, I have not been invested in a game story this long, like this, in a long time. Thank you so much, by the way, to everyone who has watched this series and given it the most engagement I think I've had on pretty much anything, really. Um, I did not expect it to do this well. So consistent with views, likes, comments. Thank you so much. Um, if you've enjoyed this playthrough, please do share it with anyone who you might, you know, any any other Danganronpa fans wants to see someone stumble the way through it for the first time. Um, I bloody loved it. I bloody loved it. I'm a huge Danganronpa fan now. That's it. I'm definitely playing 2 and 3. I know there's some spin-offs, but I'm going to stick to the main series uh, for now at least. So 2 will definitely get done. Not right away though, but wow. Uh, um, crazy, crazy good. Crazy, crazy good. Loved it. And, um, yeah, I, 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 I definitely saw some things coming. Other things definitely, no way I would ever know. And, um, I, I, I think it is a, a, a good game to replay and spot all the clues and things. Uh, obviously get to know different characters that I may have neglected. I'm not going to replay it on YouTube, but I, uh, I, I think it, it was a fantastic game. Fantastic game. I guess we'll just see what the credits uh, have in store for us at the end. This music is crazy, by the way. I probably have muted it, though. Just to, just to avoid any possible copyright bullshit. Uh, oh my god, it's Robot Justice! It's Robot Justice! Junko, wow. Yeah, that wasn't anticlimactic in the slightest, even though I'd kind of predicted that the world had gone to shit. Although, I suppose we didn't really find out. The whole situation of the school, I think I kind of, I kind of figured that out, but still so many great twists in this. Oh my god. Well, that was a scene I didn't get in the game. Um, yeah, that was uh, that was so good. <sighs> Can't believe I finished it. I, f I feel like I've been, I have been playing it a long time, and I do wish that maybe I could have. Like, if I was playing this for myself, if I wasn't recording it, I would have got through it a lot quicker. In fact, I probably would have just smashed it like ten hours a day. Um, but recording it, it takes a lot out of you. You have to read. And, um, you know, it did take a while for me to get through the game. But we got it done. It is done. I can't wait to see what the other games are like. I've heard great things about those two. And, uh, yeah, Spike Chunsoft. Well freaking done. What a game. What happens now? Interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. And I am your... I am the school's... What? What? 
What? Oh my god, I can't wait to play the other ones. Um. Oh. Achievement. Achievement. 70 points. Finished all chapters. I beat the game. I would like to save my data. Yeah. Wow. What a ride. What a ride. Now, of course, I could continue. I'm guessing that's just going to start the game from scratch again in like a new game plus. So for now, I'm going to end this. This is the end of my playthrough. I feel like I've done as much as I could do. School mode? A what if simulation type play mode? Um, I guess I haven't really looked at the extras, have I? Event gallery. Okay. Movie gallery. Artwork gallery. That's cool. School store. Character gallery. God damn. Shinmitsu gallery. What the heck's that? Ultimate gallery? What are these? Oh, I haven't unlocked any. Okay. Um, I have no idea what all that is. Anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. This is the end of Danganronpa. Um, cannot wait to play the other ones. I hope you join me for that when I do eventually get around to them. Uh, let me know what did you think. If you've uh, been experiencing this game for the first time along with me, what did you think? Uh, for those of you who have played it before, I hope my reactions... I hope I did this game justice. I really do. I hope I did this game robot justice. But uh, that's, that's me signing off. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye for now.